up everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. So it is night time in Dubai, carrying on the Dubai spotting series and I am outside. Literally in there is one of the best showrooms I've ever been to and I thought why not give you a tour around. We've already got a rare skyline behind me in Dubai. This ladies and gentlemen is a first motors and as soon as I step in that door you'll know what I mean in this being one of the best supercar dealerships not just in Dubai but in the world. It is phenomenal and if I show you the first car that's in there I think you'll know why. So to start things off the front window we are greeted with a piece to spider a piece to spider, a piece to spider, a piece to spider, a piece to spider. I'm struggling to talk because there's so many. And a piece to coupe. Just look at this. I've never been so amazed by the whole copy and paste of a car. And uh, yeah, all in such special specs. This yellow and blue one looks amazing. If the camera focuses, it does. And this red and black one looks stunning. So from the lineup of Pistas, we are now greeted with two of the greatest McLarens ever built. We have the P1 GTR, finished in the orange and black but red carbon around it. And as Sam Hard would say, the ducktail, but it is the speed tail. We've just seen a speed tail at Elaine Class Motors. We'd hopefully you would have checked out that vlog. But yeah, two of the multi-million pound McLarens. Shame there's no F1s around here, but these two side by side together is a spectacular view. So with the speed tail, once again, this one has got the front center cap lock wheel. It's also got like a bronzy orange trim around the edge. And this is also in like a pearl white, which looks lovely. My first one in white, which is very cool. Let me show you around the front and you can imagine the alien spaceship with the doors coming up either side. If I just polarize the front, there we go. Now you can see it a bit better. Sorry, the polarizer is quite stiff, but look at this, the tadpole looking spaceship. Of course, there are lots of ropes around this showroom, but that's for protection, but that doesn't matter. It's just seeing these beauties up close and personal is such a treat. And pretty much the reason why I came to Dubai was to see cars like this. We've then got the P1 GTR next to it in a stunning spec as well. And then here you can see the red carbon finish all around it. So like the other dealerships, we are greeted with two of the new cars, the MT20 and the STO. Funny enough, I think I'd rather go for the MT20. It's a shame it's not an MT12, of course, but the littler version and the newer version of the Maserati with blue calipers, blue trim around the seats. I just think this design is so perfect. And one of my favorite features of this is the vents in the back of the engine bay show the Maserati logo, which I think is awesome kind of like what they do with the lambo and the sto in the rear grille putting sto engraved in and of course this is a, such a black beast it looks amazing but i think the looks of the mc20 wins it over for me but from these two we'll then go over to the lamborghini side the collection and look at these for like memorabilia on the wall such a cool place with so many cars parked together we are greeted with a Lamborghini Aventador SV. Then we have the Aventador SVJ63 edition in a lovely orange and nardo grey combination. We then have another STO in a very, very unusual spec. This is like the new um, patterns there going for new prints on the STO. As you can see at the side, they've also got it. And then a very special one, which you might not know. I believe this is to celebrate the Evo GT racing car. I might have said that wrong, but this was a celebration car. As you can see up here, the Corsa version, uh, Scuderia Corsa that they do. And this was to celebrate all their winnings. And yeah, they've come up with this livery. It looks very cool. Some people might just think it's a random livery, but it's not. It's to celebrate the Corsa. And then we have uh, just a satin blue Hurricane Evo next to a ridiculously looking Lamborghini Urus. Just, I mean, they're like chrome blue calipers and the biggest carbon hood you can get. Lowered, spaced, it's just, you know, absolutely slammed down to the floor with a very cool light blue interior. If I just change the polarizer, you can just see inside. Here is a Rolls-Royce Wraith, which is probably the most scoot spec you could get. Look at this color. It's exactly what I'd go for. Something crazy like this, the most vibrant green pale you could get. I mean, this is easy what I'd go for, but I think it works. I think if you want to get Rolls-Royce, you need to go for a big color like this. And sadly, on the camera, it doesn't do it justice. But yeah, that's uh, ridiculously cool. Looking to something like this that just isn't a boring spec, you want to go for something bright and crazy. 
So like all the other Dubai dealerships, they are just filled with the craziest SUVs. So we've got all the Eurus's this side, all the Rolls Royces, Cullinans, Wraiths and everything that side. Bentaygas have just gone past. I'm not really interested in filming them. Then of course my two favourite, the bouncing GLS 600s, the Maybach edition Mercedes. I just, you know, I'm obsessed with them. 15 I've seen this trip. And uh, of course the usual G-Wagon storage here. Um, please also excuse how sweaty and full of sun cream I am. These lights are so perfect in here that you can capture the car so well, it now just makes me look like a glowing egg because of how much sun cream, well actually, an egg hasn't got ginger hair. More like a egg on top of an orange, but I'm head to toe in sun cream, sweating, and it's nearly nine o'clock, so I'm a bit tired, and this is the last dealership for us to check out. But I want to give you guys this vlog and I just love doing this and uh, this dealership's worth it. So if I spin the camera around, check out the colour on this GLS. Look at that. And like I said, these lights give you the best colour look of this. I mean, that is stunning next to an all black, kind of like tan interior one. I mean, the size of these wheels must be what? 24s? 24 inch, they're massive. Um, but anyway, we've done Lambo, we've done the SUVs. Now let's move on to Porsche. So let's go down the Porsche side, starting off with the crazy track GT2 RS Club Sport. I mean, look how, the, I mean, what raw experience that would be in there. Only one C, of course, being a track version. It's just mad to see one of these in here. Just appreciate how big this wing is. This wing does definitely beat all three of these. We'll come to these very soon, all of these cars, but for first, look at this GT2 RS Club Sport that exhaust I mean I bet this thing is loud I've been lucky enough to see one of these on track uh, only a month ago a blue one but carrying on the Porsche theme we've then got a beautiful light voodoo blue GT2 RS then the 992 GT3 another 992 GT3 and like the pieces it's just copy and paste from an orange to blue to yellow to crayon gray and to black with red pinstripes on the wheels that is a very cool one, two, three, four, five. Five new 992 GT3s all in a row and the old gen GT3. So this is rather special. At First Motors, they've got this absolutely stunning studio background drop where I'm with the brand new NC20 and oh my God, how good does it look? This is where I need to try out my new camera, which you can check out on my Instagram pages, photos of this car in this amazing white like box. It's got all the first motor logos around it and this is where it's actually so bright i'm squinting but look at this the mc20 in here i mean imagine putting some of the hyper cars in here it must look absolutely incredible but uh, yeah no no other showrooms have done this apart from first motors so another bonus why i think they're one of the best supercar dealerships in dubai and of course i'm not gonna lie in the world we've then got a lovely gts right here in white but this right here might have one of the coolest interiors ones I've seen on the 812 GTS. It's finished in a lovely, kind of like dark blue, and of course under these lights you can really see it popping out well. But check out this interior. Yellow and blue stitching. Blue seats, yellow stitching. I think that's absolutely incredible. And if you come around the car, you'll see the colour popping off once again. Just look at that for a spec. So here at First Motors, they really do love their SF90s because if I show you down here, let alone this gorgeous Ferrari TDF with the black stripe across it, red uh, Alcantara interior, that is absolutely beautiful. TDF's always been one of my favorite Ferraris, but SF90 number one, SF90 number two, SF90 number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There's nine SF90s here. I mean, it's just ridiculous. One's a spider as well. And look at this for color. It's like a Zorodino blue. It is, oh God, I don't know. I've said beautiful so many times. I mean, look how low the engine is being mid-engine, of course. But if we go around this, we can see under these lights, the kind of blue it is. A bit lighter than the 812, but for sure the best spec out of all of these. Now, funny enough, and a quick mention, this will probably be the only time bikes feature on my page, but these are the special 63 Lamborghini Cyan ones, or inspired by it so with the same livery. I just thought it'd be quite cool to add these in, and especially how Paul Wallace, I think, has, don't know if he's taken delivery of it yet, of these Ducatis, 
but uh, I know he's certainly getting one and they do look very cool in the like green and gold wheels but yeah that will probably be the first time bikes ever appear on my page I'm not necessarily a fan of them but very cool that they or uh, them two are here and part of Lamborghini so just quickly going around all the cars and just quickly explaining there are things you might have to just accept that I am rushing around this trying to get this video done before they close as we've got scheduled stuff every day to the music I know is a pain playing and people talking but you can't do anything about that and three I'm just so excited to be here uh, I had to have half an hour just taking it all in cameras down and just enjoying the cars and then pretty much giving you an insight of this whole supercar showroom so I know it's a little bit rushed and uh, me probably sweating on camera but you know I just had to show you these cars and now I am in the pretty much high-end supercar bit so in front of me is a Ferrari Pista but a very cool piece of spider. If I flip the camera around, it's a very cool spec. But look at this. Like the P1 GTR, it is finished in red carbon. The front, the lip at the side, and uh, where else? Like the vents here, inside the door, and the steering wheel. Okay, this is like red carbon overload. And of course, I presume on the rear, yes it is. That is very, very cool to have red carbon around this car. We've then got an F8 a GTS F8 Spider. Well, we got 16M Speciale in the beautiful blue and yellow combination, and another TDF. Fancy that. And weirdly enough, the exact same, pretty much spec. The red Alcantara, full red. Beautiful. And then once again, the black stripe. I mean, you know, you've heard me say the copy and pasting of cars in a row, but. I'm pretty sure these two are literally identical, which is very cool, but very nice to see another one here next to the Speciale, which I still can't get enough of how cool this spec is. The same one in London. We've got a Mercy SV, very casually. The Brabus Black Series Stealth 65. And then we have a hat trick of AMG GT Black Series in a row. Two being the orange and the white one. The battle of the wings, but there's only one winner. And like I said, that was the GT2 RS Club Sport. We have found another carbon overload beast. This is the SLR Rev... Reviator? I'm honestly no clue how you say it. I mean, if you spin around here, you can see it there. Renoviato? I don't know how you say it, but everywhere you look, this SLR has been covered in carbon, again, with a lovely red interior. I mean, considering how big the hood is, that is a lot of carbon on the hood. It's got extra front bits as well, extra canards, and yeah, just carbon overload. Of course, the black suit has also got the carbon center bit. And uh, yeah, but I thought I'd quickly add that in as that is a very special car to see. Okay, so I have literally put my video camera down to get some camera shots of the MC20 and an N Largo just rolled in, revving, and I can manage to capture it on my phone, which you can hear now. How crazy and how random that was to come in. I think it was actually the owner of this place that sounded stupidly good. Of course, the Enlargo also be one of my favorite cars, hence the big smile. Shame I didn't capture it on the video camera, but at least I captured it on the phone, just echoing around here. I'm surprised it didn't set off the car alarms. So from going through all these supercars in the middle, we now come down to the front cars. First, a lovely 4GT. It's finally great to see one of these out here. We've then got a lovely guards red Porsche 918 with red leather interior. I've not seen the red leather interior before. I've seen one with black. Of course, this has got black wheels as well. And yes, I know. As much as you can see my hand right now, my face is smiling. This is the Bugatti Chiron Les Legends, of one of 20 made in the world. This has got a sky view roof. It's got the French flag at the front, the logo on the side. I mean, this is a proper legend, given the name, tan interior, the white stripe at the front. Honestly, this is, you know, a real treat to see. And I don't think I'll probably be seeing one of these anytime soon. There is one in the UK, but uh, I don't know where the other 18 have gone. It's great to see this here. We've then got another Porsche 918, finishing, I think, the factory satin black. Only four were made from factory. Hopefully this is one of them. I did see one of them in London, a Grow owned one. Um, but this is stunning, finished with the acid green stitching interior and the green caliper brakes. So last but not least, you would have seen when I've walked in First Motors, the car, the top car in the showroom, one of my favourite cars of all time. And not long ago, didn't I see this in Monaco, the Mercedes-Benz Sterling Moss. 
I don't need to say much about this car apart from one big smile and another ticked off the list. My third one just they did have a Devo in here last week and I came in contact with the guy who hopefully we should be seeing the Devo tomorrow so stay tuned for another vlog. One look at that car and I'm breathless. I'm going to stop talking now and just... Just, it's a Sterling Moss, what the hell? So it's just gone nearly 10 o'clock and without a shadow of a doubt, one of the best showrooms I've ever been to. The variety of hypercars, unicorns, gems, you name it, in First Motors. They only opened seven months ago and that's their stop. Because they had a Devo last week, the next car they put in is a Sterling Moss. Absolutely ridiculous. And Shakeside Road is still so busy, I have to talk quite loud, but at least my voice is back because in America it was awful. But thank you so much to First Motors. I cannot wait to tag them in the description. Hopefully, hopefully check them out in the future. And tomorrow should be very special, hopefully with them, and maybe, maybe the Enlargo. So if I further do, please give it a like, please share, and please subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next vlog.